Welcome back everyone, this is Freddie Mac, and today we're going to talk a little bit more about All-Star and Supermon 2 and some of the setup. Now I've already got a video on YouTube about how to download and install Supermon 2 into your All-Star node, but we're going to continue on with the series here, and I went ahead and installed Supermon 2 into its ba basic form onto our trainer node that we've been learning All-Star on and we want to be able to add the weather feature inside of this node so we've got to make some changes in our all-star node so first thing we're going to do to poor james is disconnect him node five seven eight four one disconnected okay so to remember where we've got to go to add this information, I like to go into Configuration Editor, and I believe it's turn to the index, and we'll go to global.inc, and we'll edit that file. And this used to be where you would add the weather information for uh, Supermon 1. We want to go into User Local SBIN Supermon and alter the node dot node underscore info dot ini file all right so uh, let's jump over to ssh session and uh, we'll jump into that file okay we've we've entered into our ssh session and of course we're going to go down to number nine and get into a bash shell interface and let's just go to the root directory and let's do a cd user local sbin supermon slash node oh let's uh, actually let's just go to supermon get us into there and then we'll nano node underscore info dot ini and that'll take us into the node info dot ini file and I like to do this with node equals and change this to the node number 576333 and down here where it says weather code and weather location we're gonna change weather code to our local zip code 74437 and I like to change the city and state as well And that's all we have to do in this file. So we're going to control X, yes to save, enter to exit. Now we've got to do one more thing here. We've got to go into our Chrome tab and put in a command line so that it will go out to the internet every however minutes we designate to grab that weather information and throw it into the node. So let me go look that up real quick. That Chrome tab line entry I'll have this uh, how-to file in the show notes but all I'm going to do is copy that and then we're going to go back to our all-star node in the bash shell still yet and we're going to do cron tab space dash e so that we can edit it and we're going to come down to the next available line and right click paste it in and that's not what I wanted to do what happened there control X no what is going on oh I see what happened okay so when you select the line to paste in you want to make sure a lot of times I'll just double click the line and you can see right here it puts a space behind it now if I copy it in this manner and leaving that space behind. When I paste it into the bash shell, it's going to automatically hit return, or it's an equivalent to hitting the enter button or return. And it'll be very confusing. So I like to get right behind that last character, select right before the first character, hit copy, back into the bash shell, cron tab dash E, and then come down to the next available line with my cursor right click and paste it right in now 
This designation right here means every five minutes that uh, All Star is going to look out into the internet and pull in some weather information through this through this uh, script file. So if you don't want to wait five minutes, I normally change this five to a two. It's not going to hurt anything. It's just going to look every two minutes instead of every five minutes. So once that line's in, we're going to hit Control X, yes to save, and enter to exit. And then we can jump right back to our main menu if we wish. On two, and I've refreshed the page, and within a few minutes, our weather information should show up right in here somewhere. And there it is. Henrietta, Oklahoma, 88 degrees Fahrenheit, 31 degrees Celsius, and it's sunny. The CPU is currently at 34 degrees Celsius in the green, so it's not so bad. And it's been up since July 19th, 2023 at 7.39 a.m. and 55 minutes or 55 seconds and that's the load average there's how much log it's used and it is registered as 576333 with All Star. You can still come up here and hit your bubble chart if you want and I'm the only one on the bubble chart because I'm not connected to anything but that's the quick way to add the weather to that node. Now let's say for example this node, this private node 1999, let's say we wanted to put the weather on it too just for giggles. So we'll jump back into our, let's jump back into our bash shell. To number nine, hit enter. And we're going to jump right back into the node info file. We're still in the right directory. So let's come down here to node 576333, and since we have another node, we're just going to, oh, no, we're going to hit space, hit 1999, and put the end quotes after it. Control X, yes to save, enter to exit. I always like to go back to the main menu. Now let's jump back into our Supermon, refresh our page, and we'll give it two minutes and we'll see if our private node goes ahead and populates with its weather information. And there it is. Now you have both nodes showing the same weather information and when the uh, Skywarn Plus activates this no alert section will give you what the current alert is but you can click on it now if you want and it will take you nowhere and that's how we put the weather information into our supermon page our supermon 2 page rather so maybe we want to tweak a few more things in here maybe change the background color or maybe some menu items but i think we've already covered that really but this slate gray is okay, but it sure is dull. So let's take a better look. Okay, so let's go over to Configuration Editor. We'll make sure we have global.ink selected and we'll hit Edit File. And this is a file we can actually edit. And I'm trying to remember where the background color is. Display Background and that's the current color so we can select here and that's where we would change it so if we go to HTML color codes and we choose the color that we want this is htmlcolorcodes.com you can go a whole range and plethora of colors here but I'm really fond of this teal right here and maybe you're like right in there somewhere I can take this code and uh, copy it and paste it right in place of this one write the edits return to the index 
and refresh the page. Look at that. Now my page background is nice and bright and wonderful. There are also ways you can change the colors into the fonts and what have you, but those are those little steps are in other videos. So this was just a little quick little something something to liven up your Supermon page. So I hope this helps you all out and there'll be more videos to come in the All-Star Training Series. This is Freddie Mac, your ham radio crusader, wishing all the good signals to be yours, saying 73s. Ham on, y'all.